Folks, it's February 22nd, 2023, or 2-22, 2023, which the NCAA has dubbed D2 Day, celebrating all the great opportunities for excellence here in Division II. I'm John Christovich with James Simpson, and in honor of D2 Day, we'll be looking at the top 10 moments in Moccasin Athletics from last year's D2 Day until today. Well, let's get right into it with number 10 on our list. We go back to May 23rd, 2022, when the Sunshine State Conference awarded the Mayor's Cup to the men's athletics teams here at Florida Southern. The Mox won the conference's annual All Sports Award for the 15th time in program history, edging out their rivals in the University of Tampa. Yeah, Mayor's Cup is um, the top award for our conference, Sunshine State Conference. They do it by gender, men and women. So the men scored the most points for the entire season amongst all the sports that the conference sponsors. Um, really, it's a testament to our student athletes and coaches across the board for everything. One team can't win it. Uh, it's a collective award for all the men's programs. And uh, we were really pr proud to extend that lead just a little bit farther over everyone else in the conference. One of the big reasons that that team did won the, win the Mayor's Cup was the performance of the baseball team this past season, which brings us to number nine on our list. As we look at April 22nd, 2022, when the Mox won a big series against the number two nationally ranked University of Tampa Spartans. The team got started in a big way, winning game one of the series behind a monster performance from starting pitcher Nate Madej. Madej was flawless, giving up just two hits across eight scoreless innings to do his part in blanking the Spartans on their home turf, six to nothing. The teams would go on to split the doubleheader the following day with Dawson Lane earning the win on the mound behind another fantastic pitching performance. Lane went seven innings, giving up two earned runs, and the team, fueled offensively by first-team All-SSC superstars Jeff LaCorey and Duncan Hunter, put up seven runs on the Spartans, winning the game and series in dominant fashion. We turn to track and field games with number eight on our list. We look at April 8th, 2022, when Mason Jones broke the school record with a finish of 29-31-16 in the 10K at the Flame Invitational in Cleveland, Tennessee. With the record-breaking time, Jones reached an NCAA provisional time and went on to race at the National Championships the following month. Jones, who has been with the program since 2018, has amassed numerous awards and records for the Moxon over the course of the last five years. He's been the SSC Runner of the Year for Cross Country twice after winning the championship in conference the last two years, and it certainly seemed like breaking the 10K record on the track to qualify for the national championships was the perfect way to culminate his career. We keep moving with our top 10 as we look at another record-breaking performance at number seven. We go back now to October 17th, 2022, and take a look at the men's soccer team's dominant win over Trinity College, taking down the visiting Tigers 18 to nothing. The 18-goal victory was the biggest in moccasin history as both Kyle Carr, Henry, and Henry Topovin each picked up hat-tricks in the win. Topovin was a particular force for the moccasins this past season as he scored 16 goals in 16 games after transferring to Florida Southern this year. For his impressive offensive effort last season, Topovin was named an All-American by the Division II Conference Commissioners Association. 16 goals in 16 games, man. Crazy. It brings us to number six on our list as we go back to early November when the Moxons hosted the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. The weekend in and of itself was already a contender for a top moment of the year given the prestige of the event, but it really became memorable when the men's basketball team picked up two huge wins in the Classic, including a victory over number five ranked West Texas A&M. The Mox beat the visiting Buffs 92 to 90 as Jaden Booth picked up 25 points in the win, an early season indicator of the incredible year he's continuing to have. The victory spurred a seven-game winning streak for the Moxons to open their season, and Booth was named the MVP of the Hall of Fame Classic, while EJ D'Amberville was named First Team All-Classic for his performance. First of three years hosting the event, first one was a good one. And talking about the number one, our next moment brings us to a huge upset victory for the men's lacrosse team. We enter the top five. Let's go back to March 14th, 2022, when the men's lacrosse team took down the number one ranked Lemoyne College Dolphins, a team that hadn't lost in over 1,000 days before coming down to Lake. The Mox used a big third quarter to take a lead over the defending national champions as six different players scored to give the team a three-goal lead heading into the final frame. After the Dolphins tied it up, Jay Miner scored the go-ahead goal on a wicked left-hand shot, putting the Moccasins up 11-10 before eventually winning the contest 12-10. Max Freestone made 12 stops for the Mox in cage 
as the win turned the momentum of their season. The team wound up making it all the way to the conference championship game before falling just short of the national tournament. And another big one for them this weekend, James against Limestone. Let's turn our attention to number four on our list. We're looking at March 3rd, 2022, when the women's basketball team took down nationally ranked Eckerd College for the third time in the single season, winning their 12th straight game in the process. The win was a massive representation of the season turnaround as the mocks began firing on all cylinders in the second half of the season. The team was led by Ariel Dabu, who had 14 points in the win over Eckerd, while Julia Jenicki, who surpassed 1,000 career points earlier in the winning streak, notched 14 rebounds in the win. Mox advanced to the SSC Championship game before eventually earning an at-large bid to the NCAA Tournament after a 3-6 start to the season. Talking about NCAA Championships, we move to number three on our list. Let's go back to March 12, 2022, when the men's swimming team finished fifth place at the Championships in Greensboro, North Carolina. For the Mox, it was the best finish since 2018, made even sweeter by Florida Southern's individual national championship achieved by Ludo Verbetti. Yeah, congratulations to Ludo, freshman of the year in the conference, national champion in the 100 breaststroke. Uh, and men's swim was a big reason why we were able to take that Mayor's Cup, you know, that we talked about earlier, winning the conference championship in dramatic fashion. Um, if you've never seen a swim relay, you need to go and watch a swim relay at a championship. They are it's some of the most exciting things in sports. Uh, I was down on the pool deck for that relay uh, with my whole family. We had no voices afterwards, screaming, having a great time. Uh, watching that, uh, watching those guys out touch and get those wins um, to secure the meet. And then, you know, you move on with all that momentum and that excitement into nationals, and they really turn that into a top five finish, which, you know, for a program that doesn't have diving, uh, is, a, is an amazing uh, finish for them, an amazing way to, to cap an awesome year for that program. And as we close out our top moments of the past 365 days, we move to number two in our top ten. For our number two spot, we look at the women's lacrosse team winning the Sunshine State Conference Tournament Championship over their rivals, the University of Tampa, on May 1st, 2022. It was another impressive season for the 2016 National Champions, and it came to a peak with a dominant win over their rivals on their home turf. Mox got out to a dominant start in the game, taking an early lead on goals from Sammy Garassi and Haley Dalio. They'd go on to win 20-10 over the Spartans before earning a bid to the national tournament, which saw them beat the Wingate Bulldogs 19-6 in the first round of the NCAAs. The Mox this season, with a whole host of returners from last year's team, look poised to make another big run. Huge game this Friday night against number two nationally ranked Adelphi. And well, James, this brings us to the number one spot, and this one seems like a no-brainer. This is a team that defied all odds surpassed expectations, and earned our pick for number one moment in the last 365 days. We go back to October 22nd, 2022, when the women's soccer team officially clinched the regular season conference title with their 2-1 win over Barry University. Kate and Lowry scored the go-ahead goal for Florida Southern after the team battled back from an early deficit, while goalkeeper Jenny Statton made seven saves in the win. The victory not only gave the women's soccer team their first conference championship in program history, but it also marked their seventh consecutive win of the regular season, which would later prove to be enough to get a bid to the national tournament just a couple of weeks later. The Mox would go on to beat Mississippi College in overtime for their first NCAA tournament win in a truly historic moment for the program. Head coach Paul Lawrence was named Coach of the Year, Morgan Colico was named Defender of the Year, and Angelina Coelho was named Freshman of the Year. All of this came after the Mox were picked to finish last in the preseason pool. It's just remarkable, James. Just remarkable. What a year in Moxon Athletics. We hope you enjoyed our picks for the top 10 moments of the year. John Kristovich and James Simpson saying thank you so much for tuning into FSC TV. Happy D2 Day and go Mox.